sorry if the camera's a bit shaky there, guys. It's got it sitting on the dash, so hopefully it's not too shaky. Rightio, so this series I've been planning on doing for a while now. I just never really got around to it. Never really know like which trip when to start it, but I thought about starting it a few weeks ago on a racing trip up to Dog Fence Beach, up the far west coast where we caught some nice fish, but no um, real big ones. But yeah, I'm going to start on this trip up to the west coast. So the mighty Mulloway, as you guys know, can be a very elusive and hard fish to catch. They're just really smart fish and really hard to tempt. And in my opinion, a 50 pound Mulloway, a 50 pound plus Mulloway is absolute holy grail of beach fishing. Like, you cannot beat it in my eyes. It's just such an awesome fish to catch and just to look at. So this is why I'm starting this series. And pretty much it's just gonna be any time that me and my mates go surf fishing for Mulloway or fishing for Mulloway, Mulloway anywhere, I'm gonna make one of these videos, uh, one of these episodes. And I might not catch a Mulloway in an episode, but it's just gonna be about me fishing for him and my journey to catch that dream fish of 50 plus pounds. And it's just gonna be the whole journey, the highs, the lows, you're gonna see it all. I'm gonna try and record everything that I can possible. Like, it'd be sort of a fishing vlog, but I like to keep the, the shit talking. No, not shit talking, just talking to a minimum and like action, action packed fishing as much as I can. So I'll be letting you know each catch I get, I'll try and um, film that for you, get some action for you. And yeah, it's just gonna be my journey of catching that dream fish of a 50 pound mile away, which I haven't yet done. I caught a nice fish, about 15 kilo up dog fence. And it was an awesome fish, I loved it, but when your heart's set on that 50 pound fish, that um, 20 plus kilo fish, you really wanna nail it. And this is what the series is gonna be all about, guys everything i'll show you all my rods and reels and that sort of stuff yeah the whole journey right through to the end and we'll be there when we catch a big one and the celebration is going to be very good so i hope you guys get around the series i've never done really a series yet so i hope you guys get around it support it i get share it around that sort of stuff so enough of the talking we'll get to the beach and hit the sand cheers set up at the beach. Sorry you didn't get any footage of the gutter we're fishing um, tonight but I'll show you in the morning where we're fishing at. It's just a bit too dark when we rocked up. We picked a nice gutter. It's right on low tide now. It's going to come up probably two metres tonight so it's going to be deep as. It should be good tonight fishing. We've got the burley happening. We've got the first bait out now so we'll um, keep you posted on any action that happens and hopefully that big slab of silver gold comes our way. Stay tuned. Right out guys, our first fish of the trip, a nice salmon, probably about three and a half, four kilo I reckon, around that region. Didn't get any footage of the fight because it was a pretty quick fight, but he smashed the whole squid head and I'll show you the rig I'm running. It's a bit tangled. Right there guys, so the rig I'm running, 80 pound jinkai, about a metre and a half, down to a barrel swivel, 75 pound barrel swivel, then I've got my easy rig clip, 6 ounce star sinker, so that rig runs up that metre and a half, so it gives the fish no weight until it hits the um, swivel knot, and it's more 80 pound jinkai, about 30 centimetres, to twin 80 gamagatsus. Now, so that's my rig, squid for bay, fresh fish, salmon trout, that sort of stuff. Well, yeah, we'll hopefully get some more action for you. This big fella's gone for bait. Hello right guys, it's the morning of day two. Last night wasn't very eventful. We um, hooked a decent fish, 
at the start of the night, but we lost it. It was um, not sure what it was, had a few head shakes, a good way, but just dropped the bait, pulled the hooks, um, got a few salmon, uh, small gummy shark, nothing too special, nothing worth really filming, but hope gets an action for you during the day on high tide and during the night tonight. So I'll show you the gut of the fish now. Salmon, salmon. It's not too bad a size. Ah, uh, tiny. Still smashed the old squid head. Random jumping salmon. Yep, we're on. It was actually attached to my line, what the hell? Solid Sambo Beast Hooked up guys, belties on. Gummy! Nice gummy, but... Good. 
He's big enough to tag as well. Yeah. Quick measurement. That's a metre, metre fifteen. So he's sending this gummy back, tagged and ready to go. Alright guys, so we're just on our way back from the beach now. Unfortunately we didn't land the 50 pounds of silver gold, but that's my way of fishing for you. You can't catch them every time and they do take a lot of time of effort, especially for that um, dream fish of 50 pound, pounds plus. But, um, Billy got his first gummy shark, which was, which was good, and um, also got the tag in it, so that's my first gummy shark I had tag. So it'd be interesting to see if I, if, I, if it is recaptured, like they do travel a lot of distance, and yeah, who knows, could even cat end up in um, Western Port 30 kilos, something like that, you never know. So at least we got some uh, bit of action for you, but no Mario action, unfortunately. But yes, I won't be uploading these series very often just every now and then when I go mile away fishing so it might be once a month it might be like once every two weeks during the summer or something but it just takes a lot of effort to do these west coast trips a lot of time and money goes into it and yeah that's what you got to do to catch that dream fish so I hope you get around the series and stay tuned for the next episode